Before signing with the Sacramento Kings, the Los Angeles Lakers expressed interest in acquiring Neural and Snoll. Similarly, the Chicago Bulls also had their eyes on these players, which is worth noting. Notably, the Bulls were previously mentioned as a potential destination for Christian Wood. Interestingly, they now hold a disabled player exception worth over $10 million due to Lonzo Ball's injury. Consequently, they might have more financial flexibility compared to the Lakers' veteran minimum offer for Christian Wood. Nevertheless, it's intriguing to observe that the Lakers are exploring alternative options beyond Christian Wood, such as neurologist Noel. Although they couldn't secure him, the Lakers must be prepared to pivot quickly if they miss out on Christian Wood. As the center market is currently thin, Wood stands as the top option. However, there are still other viable players available, like Bismack Biombo, Michael Green, and perhaps even Colin Castleton, who showed promise during the summer league. Evaluating Castleton's performance throughout training camp could be a wise move before deciding on a contract. After the missed opportunity with Nerland's Noel, the Lakers remain open to adding a veteran center to strengthen their roster. This makes sense, as it appears to be the only area they truly need to address. In the guard positions, they seem to have solid options with Gabe Vincent, Dillo, and Austin Reeves. Additionally, Max Christie's potential growth is something to watch this season. The wing spots also boast strong players like LeBron James, Bondo Rihakamura, Cam Reddish, and Torian Prince. At the center position, Anthony Davis leads the way, and the Lakers have also signed Jackson Hayes. While Hayes could be a reliable center, pairing him with AD at the power forward spot may not be the ideal fit due to his limited floor spacing abilities. If AD plays at the four, the Lakers might benefit from having a floor spacing veteran big man with elite defensive skills. Although Hayes possesses the physical tools to be a good defender, he hasn't reached an elite level yet. The hope is that he buys into Darvin Ham's defensive system and shows improvement. With two roster spots still vacant, the Lakers should prioritize filling the 14th spot before the start of the season. Reports indicate their intention to address this during training camp, leaving the 15th spot open for potential mid-season additions from the buyout market. Considering the Lakers aim to contend this season after their Western Conference Finals run, they have bolstered their roster further during the offseason. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Have a fantastic day.